money. Now, why not spend it? All is a full center. Where did I leave my tarot dick? Enjoy! No refunds. Seriously. That's enough of that.
day, Company Ford was where they stored all sorts of munitions. The town held it for a time, but then the Devil Riders took it over, like most things. Figured a snake like Stickly would hold up with Devil Riders. I wonder if the fort has security cameras. I'd love to see some footage of my imminent heroic takeover. Yeah, I could use the practice. You enjoying the show? Who's next? You're on my list, Stickley, and you will give me my money back. Guaranteed! you killed all those Devil Rider bastards infesting my fort. Actually, please tell me after you get me out of this cage. Hoo-yah! Couldn't take another minute in that cell. Thanks, stranger. <sighs> I'm General Marks. Me and my militia, the Marks Brethren, have been fighting to retake this fort. But some swindler tricked me good and I ended up all locked up here. And he stole my uniform! I think his name was Dickery? Sickly? Prickly? Stickly. I've got... Business with that bastard myself. Do you know where he is? Well, stranger, you're in luck. He may be a smooth talker, but he's also a loudmouth. Heard him say he was heading back to his hideout in the abandoned mines. Oh, and try to get my uniform back, won't you? Shameful to be waltzing around in my drawers like this. Sounded like the Vault Hunter might finally have that greasy little rat cornered.
Proposition for a shooter of your caliber. The critters here have been preying on folks more than a preacher in a prison house. Fancy looking tech right there. Didn't seem like the vault hunter could use it yet, though. That thing would eventually prove to be a handy bit of tech. Not just yet, but eventually.
Vault Hunter couldn't use that company gadget just yet. <laughs> for you. Real beaut, ain't she? Oh, the swindler is almost too pathetic to shoot. My money. Give it back. Now. I will not ask again. Whoa there! Oh, okay. You are clearly very serious about this. And I won't let my shining reputation for customer service be tarnished. So I'll go get you your money. While you're in there, give me back the general's uniform, too. Okay, okay, just wait, right there. idea who you're screwing with right now. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you piss off? This place is tougher than a freaking bank vault. Good luck getting through here. General Marks. Found Stickley, but he's holed up tight. Any ideas? Hmm. I've got an idea. And if you help me get revenge on that swindler, I'll pay you double what you're owed. Got an old company cannon up at the fort. Head on back here. And when you get here, we're gonna need an artillery shell to fire. Scrounge around in the fort. There must be one we can use. If I were Stickley, I would have run for the hills by then. Crossing a vault hunter was like buying a ticket on the express train to ruin. But that greedy bastard was too busy counting his ill-gotten stacks of cash.
Vault Hunter wasn't sure what that thing was good for, but they'd find out eventually. We both have reason for vengeance, but what the hell? You want to do the honors? You bet your sweet Long John clad ass I do. Load up the cannon so we can savor the sweet taste of vengeance. <laughs> you get, prick? Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo
ain't no guarantees in life, I suppose. Said maybe that vengeance comes swiftly to those who cross you, stranger. Here's that bounty I promised. Thanks for making an old man smile. You know, at first I was shamefaced to be seen in my skimpy and secret, but now it's kind of grown on me. I think it'll be my new thing, you know? The underpants general. Anyways, as for me, I think I'm getting too old for the fighting business. Even with the Marx brethren at my side, I can't retake a fort to save my life, as it turns out. Maybe it's time I settle down and open up a shop in town. Come and see me sometime. By the way, you ever tried Doc Stanley's sweet and savory nectar of vengeance? I hear it ain't exactly approved by the reigning medical establishment, or any medical establishment, but it's got a lovely aftertaste of mango on the tongue, just saying. Sometime, and you stop that son of a bitch dead in his tracks. Ashfall Peaks. Butcher Rose's den of thieves was a ways up the mountain path. 
Good a place as any to start on that bounty. No refunds. Bullets and bombs. Have some money. Now why not spend it? Word had gotten round about the sheriff's demise. The hideout was awash and the sounds of celebration. Bottles clinking, half-remembered songs, and fire in the sky. Unleash this power! the sweat. you anything, this one's the work of the Abidoxus. He's a monster. Result of the company's advanced weapons testing near devil habitats, but more importantly, he's huge. 
which means a lot of hide to work with. Go get him. I'm down, Burrow Girl. I guess it's true what they say. When you need to kill a monster, send another monster. <laughs> well, any who's a I'll come by and snap up that skin. Company scientists had some fancy name for the crystals they dug out of Gehanna's veins. Regular folks just took to calling it core. It fueled the company's weapons of war, and it did strange things to the devils and beasts. Whatever nightmares the company could dream up, core made them real. Legend, one body at a time. Strong, a dump, a massacre. Back in town, Juno was looking for Titus. Of course she wouldn't find him. That pleasure was reserved for the Vault Hunter. McSmugger. Something about that name called to the Vault Hunter. A call to adventure. McSmugger? Uh, no way, it can't be! <laughs> there he was, McSmugger, in the flesh. Evening, kid. Cowboy is just another word for a man on a horse. They call me McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. 
Like the mix mugger? Oh, I am such a fan. Could I oh could I hear some cowboy wisdom? Just a little. If it's wisdom you seek, the first thing you need to know is that you don't know nothing. It's time to unlearn what you don't know, kid. That's Wow. <laughs> Just wow. I wasn't always McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. I sought to know all things, so I climbed Mount Mariboshi. By the time I moseyed back down, I'd found what I was looking for. It's your turn, kid. What do you say? I don't really want to do that. Ah, uh, refusing the call, are we? I see. How about now? Yeah, okay. I'll do it. Then let your journey commence. What are you still talking to me for? The journey awaits, kid. You're wasting time. The real adventure is up there. And so the Vault Hunter crossed the threshold, hell-bent on climbing Mount Maraboshi. <laughs> the Vault Hunter thought about a whale for some reason. I wonder what it's like to be a whale. Just floating around the sea with your mouth open like a hungry beanbag chair. Oof, must be great. A road of trial stood in the Vault Hunter's way. No sweat. The Vault Hunter knew the mountain wouldn't give up its cowboy wisdom without an offering. So the Vault Hunter did what they always did. Started taking it out on the local wildlife. Badasses. A wise offer. Badass, the Vault Hunter found it. If you ate the heart of a badass, would you become more badass, the Vault Hunter one? It's on now. With each badass heart, the badass Vault Hunter picked up the more badass they could be. I am the greatest. A statue of breathtaking beauty stood beside the path, a countenance so majestic it could only be divine, and her voice was like strings plucked on a harp. You have traveled far, but this is not the end. I have a gift to aid you on your journey. I don't know. Mother always said to never take gifts from rocks that can speak. Ah, but what the hell, I'll take it. For you, on this, a journey worthy of a hero. Use it wisely. Or unwisely. Your call, really. Your 
destiny awaits. The top of the mountain isn't far. Then that cowboy wisdom will be mine. Temptation drew the vault hunter's eyes stray. A chest waited over yonder, begging to be plundered. Weather started to turn for the worse. The peak of Mount Maraboshi. It was here that the Vault Hunter would find true cowboy wisdom. The Vault Hunter laid out the hearts of the slain badasses in offering. The father of eagles, keeper of true cowboy wisdom, emerged from his throne cave. Not exactly what I expected. The father of eagles was pleased with the offer in a hearts, but demanded the vault hunter offer up their own hearts and the dark secrets within. There, at the top of all things, the vault hunter atoned for their sins. I... Uh, I text during movies. The father of eagles gazed into the vault hunter's heart cave and saw true darkness. He attacked. Oh, come on, it's just during the boring parts. <laughs> Forcing through my veins. Needed the break. Just like that, the father of eagles was dead. Its glory food fell to the ground. The quest complete, it was time to return to McSmugger, wisest cowboy to ever walk the land. They briefly considered refusing to return, but then did it anyway. Sliding towards wisdom, it was magical. But how to heal one's raw, slow-burned backside? Vault Hunter hoped McSmugger held the answer to that and other questions. Yeah. Ah, the hero returns from beyond the threshold. Mosey on over, kid. So... What'd you find? Or should I ask, what found you? I found a new respect for my fellow moviegoers. Silent mode from now on. So, you have found true cowboy wisdom. Then your journey is complete. And now you are McSmugger. The wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. Time for me to mosey on. But if I idolized McSmugger, and now I am him, I guess I idolize myself now? Wait, I already do that.
vault hunter heard a cry for help. Help! Anyone out there? Someone! Free me! You better than that! I can hardly believe my eyes! Is that really you, Tomodachi? About time someone came for me! Gun those devil riders down and get me out of here! Devil Riders don't take prisoners unless they got designs on them. Who knows what the poor bastard was in for? Get them! Stay him! Ah! Let me out of here, you damn bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Is it good to see you? Did Sheriff send you to rescue me? Got some bad news for you. Sheriff's dead. Dead? He can't be. No wonder those Devil Rider snakes are so damn happy. But wait, if Sheriff's dead, who sent you? Who'd he leave in charge? Juno. What? What in ruination was he thinking? Juno? That just don't make sense. She used to be a damn devil rider. You know that, right? Sheriff's the one who took her in. Said she'd atone for her crimes. But I never did trust her. Still don't. <clears throat> Suppose we gotta let that lie for now, though. Come on, get me out of here. I stole this off a devil rider that was roughing me up. It's something the company made, and I thought it might come in handy. You take it. Now, you see that crystal over there? It's infused with core, called a core sploder. Give it your knuckles. Uh, quick now, get me out of here before those devil riders come back and try to beat us hollow. Things were volatile. <laughs> now I see why Sheriff outlawed company goods in town. But these are different times, I suppose. Now listen, I overheard some devil riders talking about the stone. Said they were keeping it up top in the bathhouse. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Mm -hmm. 